Shh. The movie is about to start. Okay, maybe we can make some noise. The movie isn't technically starting yet. So this, this is my favorite shirt of all time. It doesn't really fit me, so if like I raise my hand, you know, my belly shows. It's a shirt from when I was like seven. But I think we all like movie theaters, even though they're not really much of a thing anymore. They have got a bit more popular, seeing as, you know, the certain disease hasn't, you know, been as prevalent. But, there's one thing. I like the way the movie theater looks. The actual movie. That was pretty dumb. But anyways. What about... When you take the concept of going to a movie theater at home, just like that's what I'm doing right, just like how I'm doing right now. I got my popcorn, I got my soda, I got my candy, I, I got everything. And I got the movie with a giant TV, see you guys, you know, now we're not living in the age where there's tiny little TVs. So, screens like this, easier to make a home movie theater. Rather than just looking at a tiny screen compared to the entire giant wall that sets up like a mansion for the screen. So yeah, times have evolved a lot. Movie theaters though, they haven't really, but... But anyways, as I was saying, what if we took the concept of watching something at home, but also still making you feel like the atmosphere is there by, you know, what you're watching on the TV. And that's what cartoons can be. Cartoons have had, or gay shows, this video's gonna be about, they've had a lot of history with movie theaters. Now, I'm not talking about movies based on the cartoons. So there's the SpongeBob movie, Hey Arnold the movie, Simpsons movie. Man, do they ever name these things, not just the movie? Who would think? Rugrats in Paris, I guess counts, but technically the first movie was called the Rugrats movie. So, but I thought I'd take a look at a couple shows that have tried doing this concept. Whether they've been bad or whether they've been good. Now, personally, for a lot of shows I like, some of my favorite episodes had to do with it. So, let's talk about a couple of those. I have to go pee. Alright, so I'm in the bathroom. Before the movie starts. Um, probably gonna go pee, but of course I'm not gonna put that on video and I can't have my phone in the movie theater. Anyways, so basically I'd like to take a look at a couple of shows that have made the jump to, well not I guess jump, but have had episodes themed off of, you know, movie theaters. You now the shows I'll be taking a look at or Drake and Josh, maybe Spongebob, and Yo Gabby Go, and maybe Mickey Mouse. Because there is one, and it's actually my favorite of uh, the new Mickey Mouse sh shorts that have been around since like 2015. So, on with the movie. Uh, change of plans, so basically, stupid thing happened. So, basically, you guys remember the video where I talked about the first season of Drake and Josh? All these episodes. I was signing a Paramount Plus. This video literally came out a month and a half ago. And then now I'm just not signed in. <sighs> so, first off, since we're talking about Spongebob and Yo Gabba Gabba and I guess Mickey Mouse. Um, hold on. I just dropped a piece of popcorn on my chair, that's all. But, um, so, basically, this is just a promotional short they made, uh, about movie theaters and stuff. It's pretty cool, um, but it's the really only movie theater-themed episode I could think of, so I just decided to include it. So, basically, this is like a fun little one. Just got it. This is just a fun little, um, focus. This is just a fun little promotional type video uh, for what not to do in a movie theater, but it's kind of, you know, comedically made. Sorry, I had to turn on the light. 
the focus is really bad. So basically, Squidward's really annoyed at Sponge and Patrick. Patrick, pa Patrick and they tell you what not to do. Uh, and Sponge and Patrick do really random and annoying things. Also, Sandy's face is really creepy. But that's really the whole thing. And Squidward gets kicked out for yelling at Sponge and Patrick because he's annoyed. And that's the entire short. That was three minutes, but. It's literally just the same video repeated three times, so... Uh, uh, I never covered it on this channel, but I love Mickey Mouse. Okay, maybe you love is a bit of an overstatement, but my favorite thing for Mickey Mouse are these shorts. These shorts are very well made. They're not, you know, corny, cringy Disney stuff. They're actually really funny and have a couple pop culture references, but it doesn't feel too cringe and out of place. The plot of this is that Mickey's going to see a scary movie. During the scary movie, while well, this happens. How is that even possible? It'd be like me being scared of the movie, I mean, hitting the wall, and like my skin falling off, and it'd be like muscle. That'd be pretty weird, right? Or just all my hair falling off? That would be pretty strange. So great. Mickey tries getting his black skin back off, and but his black skin is scared of the scary movie. I guess that's how it fell off. I don't honestly know. Mickey goes on a fun wild goose chase, and well, he's able to blend in with stuff and just make it black, basically. That's pretty cool. Then this really weird sequence happens. I don't really know how to comment on this, but then they decide to work together, and Mickey says, let's go hear that scary movie, handle that scary movie, and then, uh, well, that happens, and then eventually this happens, uh, and then every year, everyone else loses their black, despite the fact that they're still mouse, and it's just basically on the outside of their skin, well, I guess the black is their skin, I don't honestly know. And that's how the short ends. Yay! Why is this one of my favorites? Basically, I don't know if I, I... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I mentioned in my birthday video. There's this thing, the Super Music Friends Show. And it took them all the way till season four to make a video about them actually being on the show. Well, that was... a long time. Basically, Broby is an idiot, a freaking idiot, and he loses his ticket. Greg, go in there. Also, by the way, all that other stuff, it was just filler. This is the climax, or the real main portion, I guess. But but it's okay, because they're friends with the host of the show or whatever. The Swami, or whatever. Is Broby in flex stabbing? And I don't know what Muno's trying to do. Both of these faces are pure faces of evil. Then this whole song happens, and like... Wait, this is from season four? I swear, this is something from season two. It's really that good, and it doesn't look like something from, like, 2013 or 14. This looks like something from, like, 2011 or 10. Basically, though, this whole thing is really just a clip show of the all these Yo Gabba Gabba songs. And they're the ones from the Super Music Friends show, so I guess that's cool, but... I mean, I guess it's a cool excuse to make a clip show, but not really... Some of them might be new people, but I can't remember. I like this guy because the pizza looked cool, and the lemonade looked cool, and the pretty sure I had pretzels, and that looked cool. Eventually, Broby and Muno go to this booth where there's merchandise, and Broby has merch. He got a prom- I don't even know that this is way too accurate. We'll see to me, but- So you see that this is the only actual other thing they go to in the episode, rather than them just being in the audience. So, this is, I guess, the best part of the episode, by far. And that's it. After all the clip show stuff, they get back home. Man, my other reviews are like 40-something minutes. This took like two. What can I say? It's a clip show. The only real part I even talked about was the beginning and the part with Broby and Bruno getting the merch. <laughs> but in all seriousness... Realizing it, this episode is very lacking, and this is probably one of the worst episodes. 
I think the atmosphere is good, but they shouldn't have focused on the clip show aspect as much. Now, granted, it was the only real way they could have got it, but they could have highlighted some more stuff, like breaks and... I don't know, just something else rather than a clip show. And now, I guess maybe they may have included some new stuff. But like I said, do more stuff like Moon on Broby, getting like merchandise and stuff. That's more of what I want to see. I want to see a new plot. This is very odd because Yo Gabba Gabba wouldn't do stuff like this. I mean, I don't know, they were kind of losing money despite them making a higher budget with less money. Very flawed idea, to be honest, but... Wow, that's really it. I wanted to talk about the Drake and Josh one, because that was probably the one I was going to get the most content out of, but I can't. I will probably make a separate video to this and maybe have this shirt on, but I didn't want to, you know, ask my mom and be like, hey, can you, like, sign in and stuff, but... She has this whole time. I was waiting outside the movie. I had tickets. But now the movie's about to actually start. So. Also, uh, speaking of movie, did you hear they coming out? The, they announced, um, like, they're gonna make a third Sonic movie and a Knuckles TV show spin off. I don't know, I'm excited for movie theory, not in Knuckles. I must say, and Knuckles. Speaking of, though. The Sonic movie 2 comes out in two months. One and a half. So, don't be surprised if the next video is a review of the Sonic movie. I'm not guaranteeing it, but I know I literally just made a video about Sonic and you guys are hoping for something else. And it's been a while, but that's kind of just because I was lazy. A big project was going to happen, but that got cancelled, seeing as, you know, the way it worked out didn't really go, but... Well, I guess I'll see you guys later. But, oh, speaking of, uh, are we crying your seats? The best aspect of any movie theater. But, that's gonna do it for this video. So I haven't made a video in a while, and I wanted to make it special, but because I couldn't watch speaking to Drake and Josh, um, I couldn't make it. Now, comment down below if there's any other TV shows that I might like to make. I was going to make one maybe about Rugrats, but I decided not to. Seeing as also, I knew Rugrats wasn't on any streaming service I have on my computer. So I'm like switching stuff, but I haven't put it in Switch, I am that cheap. Speaking of cheap, do you remember when I would use the aspect ratio, you know, the vertically rather than the horizontally? What was I thinking? I don't know, maybe I thought like, oh, I'm starting out, you know, it's fine, but what was I thinking? I don't know. I'm going to enjoy this movie. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Also, this is still my favorite shirt. So... Uh, tell me if this shirt is still actually being made. Uh, I'd like to buy a bigger size. Um, but...